well guys this is it today is our last full day of sailing before we make landfall um, we got a full day and a full night of sailing and we should make it to cows um, tomorrow morning with the tide but it's been a pretty uncomfortable night it's been pulling 30 knots all night and in the english channel the current shifts every six hours and it goes uh it flips by about two knots each way so the sea state's super bumpy and choppy and uh, we're just going along with a little bit of head sail out still but the wind should calm down a little bit this afternoon and uh, it should make for a pretty good day of sailing but it's cold and it's wet but overall it's been a, a really cool experience this may have been the most uncomfortable sail that we'll ever go on on this boat we'll probably see rougher weather but um, 18 days of 25 to 30 knots in kind of cold wet conditions definitely might be the roughest thing we do on this boat so it's kind of nice to know that it's almost over and um, we've definitely raised our threshold a little bit the other thing that made this night interesting is just how much commercial traffic there is there are boats constantly going by and making sure that we're not in their way and they're not in our way and calling them on the radio and making sure they see us um, at one point I think I counted 30 boats on AIS in a 15 mile radius so it's pretty busy out here for sure but the sun's coming up now and soon the wind should calm down a little bit down to like 18 to 20 knots instead of 25 to 30 so it should make for a pretty good day of sailing these fruit snacks and they have the season and they are so good um, I'm really happy that we stock up on a bunch of snacks before this passage because honestly we don't really eat that much um, in long passages I noticed that we snack most than anything we literally just snack all day and then we have one main meal that um, we eat together usually in the afternoon if we're even hungry <laughs> but for the most part we'll just snack all day some things are good to prepare before a passage like hard-boiled eggs are really good snacks to have but I personally love like little snacks like these or um, we have a lot of fresh produce left popcorn is one of my favorite drink passages honestly This is it, the last full day of the passage. Pretty comfy. Yeah. We're like beam reaching along in 15 knots of wind and yep. the seas are on the side and I think we're only about 20 miles offshore, 15 miles offshore, so the waves aren't that big anyway. It it's is a beautiful day. It's sunny. sunny. Warmish. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Dryish. <laughs> <laughs> Warmer, <We're> still... <laughs> drier than it has been for the last two weeks. We're still wearing all of our gear because um, when we do need to reef or unreef, we just unreef the main yeah. and the jenny and so it's um, the first time we've had the full head sail out yeah. i think the entire passage maybe oh no, there yeah. was that one day was blowing like eight knots for like four hours i think mm. that was there 
but still. It's also the first day I, that of the passage that we're outside for a <laughs> long period of time. Other than reefing <laughs> or adjusting the Cape Horn, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. You can see land. Oh, we're so close. I'm so excited. So what do you think of uh, this passage so far? Like, I think it raised our threshold. It wasn't that rough, but you know, 25, 30 knots of wind for extended periods of time and cold and wet for two and a half weeks. <laughs> um, I think we'll probably have rougher passages, but they'll be shorter. We'll probably have colder passages, but they'll be shorter. Yeah. But combining all that into, into a long passage uh, definitely raised our threshold of like what we can take and what the boat can take, I think. I would agree. Even but, if we cross the Atlantic again, like yeah. coming back to the Caribbean. It'll be warmer. It will <laughs> be warmer. Be, we won't be wearing all this gear. <laughs> and it'll be relatively more comfortable. So yeah. I think it's a good feeling of accomplish, a, accomplishment. Hell like, yeah, we just crossed the North word. Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> like that's awesome. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty big it's, deal it's for us. It's a very rewarding feeling when you make it there and then you realize yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? That was it. Like, it's done. We have, um, I guess, we have about 85 to 90 miles left until we make it into the Solent um, and to Cows and to our marina. We're going to be staying for a couple of days to, to hose the boat off, to hose us off. Everything is just so salty. So salty. I was telling Kiga earlier, I think I might be more excited to hose the boat off than I am to shower, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm excited to get all the salt off the boat because it is, it's crusty. And every time you go outside, everything gets white. Yeah. Like it's snowing. That's basically also why we wear all of our foul weather coming outside because we don't want to come back inside and have our normal clothes covered in salt. Yeah. So we just then they get, cover ourselves up. Because then they get really humid and damp mm -hmm. and you can't dry it out. If you get like normal absorbent clothes full of salt, then yeah, they, they start to absorb the humidity yeah. and the damp air and then they never dry out. So. Mm. But anyway, I am loving today's weather. It's so sunny. It's calmed down I quite a lot it. too. It's, it's not blowing 30 knots anymore. No. So. No, we're cruising along. We slowed down a little bit so that we could time the tide and good wind, favorable winds to go into the Solent. Mm -hmm. um, so last night we were only sailing at like three knots and today we're trying to average about five and a half. Even though we could be doing a lot faster in 15, 20 knots of wind we could be doing seven and a half to eight knots. But we've slowed down a little bit so that yeah. we don't get there in the middle of the night. Or against the or tide. Against, yeah, the tides and the currents here are no you joke. Don't, so. You don't joke with that, that's for sure. Probably two or three <sighs> knot current that's going to be flowing out of there if we miss, if we miss time it. I'm happy. Congratulations, man. I'm happy too. I can't see. <laughs> you got all your Velcro out of the way. <laughs> we made Me it too. across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it's crazy to think that by this time tomorrow we'll be taking a hot long shower mm, the longest and, and hottest shower oh yeah and long sleep we're gonna sleep oh, like we're gonna sleep for like three forever. days <laughs> oh super cool all right What are we having? Well, we bought these like cheater bread. Uh, these are like the Pillsbury croissant roll things. Hoping that um, we were gonna be able to cook them on passage, like in the ghost sun or something, but it's been pretty overcast and wet and rainy in the cockpit and like rocky and rolly and we didn't really want to get the ghost sun out. But to celebrate uh, our last day of being out in the ocean, I do want to try to cook these because they're super yummy. Um, and I think I'm going to try to cook them in a frying pan. I'm not just going to try to cook them. I'm going to try to like stuff them and make <laughs> them extra yummy. I've never tried this before. Hope it works. We also kept these in the freezer, which it says not to do, but we didn't really want to leave them in the fridge because then the cardboard gets soaking wet. So hopefully they work. Hopefully you didn't break them. Let's see here. Yeah! It's <laughs> a good start. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
things might not look like much, but I bet they're gonna be super yummy. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I hope these like cook. Should I, should I put the lid on it maybe? I feel like I should put the lid on it. And there you have it guys, the last sunset before we make it to land. The last sunset of the passage. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful tonight. Should be a really calm night too. The waves are almost non-existent and it's blowing 15 knots and it's gonna be a steady slow night. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It worked? I'm excited. They're they're cooked all the way through. Through. Ooh, they're hot. Got them cool. Yeah, they're cooked all the way through. I think I think it worked. I'm gonna put the the other one. In. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It looks like a little fondue. Mmm. That's amazing. You want one? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my god, it's good. Yeah? We don't need an oven. This is easy. And then, yeah, I'm gonna cook these ones. <laughs> Denies. <Dinner. laughs> it's, it's a bunch of toasty bread. I don't know if that means we're lazy or. <laughs> uh, I think that just means we're hungry. Just, these, these okay. they're, just, they're just really good. Do we have like jelly? You want some jelly? You see this? Oh, That's yeah. a maple syrup, we just dip it in maple syrup. <laughs> if we had Nutella. Mm. Ooh, Nutella would be good. Yes. Well, cheers for, cheers to our last night. Eh. We're choosing bread. Yeah, it's our last night. We have about 70 miles to go until we make it to the Needles and start sailing into the Solent. Um, and then after that, it's about 20 more miles until we get to the marina. So we're aiming to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. And right now it says exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. We have to average about five and a half knots all night long and we'll be there right on time to ride the tide in and the wind should be favorable and we'll be going in during daylight. So yeah. it's all lining up really well. I'm glad we slowed down last night and- uh, Sped up today. <laughs> sped up today. <laughs> We're really gonna eat all that. Yes. It's just so much bread. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's weird that this is like our last meal. I feel like it should be like steak or something, but I'm not really hungry. This is this easy is to make. So, do you have anything to say about your feeling of the passage so far? It was definitely the longest, roughest, wettest, <laughs> coldest thing we've ever done in our lives. That's true. I'm really glad that we have relatively favorable conditions these last two days of sailing in. And we're not like beating into 30 knots of wind or like we have to heave to or something crazy. Like the wind, the wind the last couple of days has actually been really nice. Well. Have you Not, seen this? Like, it's like a it's ridiculous chaotic. amount of ships. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's like, there's big ships that, like cargo <laughs> ships and ferries and stuff that go by this way, and then the fishing boats go by across them, and we have to like sail snake through our way through. So far, it's been pretty good though. But we have. If they get close, we call them on the radio, and they're like, mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we'll adjust our course and go behind you or something." But yeah, we haven't had an issue with a boat. But some of the fishing boats out here don't have AIS on them, so. Um, we still have to keep it pretty. Yeah, I like that one right there, actually. There's a boat right there. Yeah, they do show but up on radar. So. They do show up on radar, and we do have to keep a, a lot closer watch now mm -hmm. there's so many boats around. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think about spending two and a half weeks out in the middle of the ocean? It's <laughs> challenging. Like, I know that we were technically preparing ourselves to have a longer passage, mm -hmm. but like, I thought that my body would get into the rhythm really fast. Hmm. Right, like after a couple of after days. After three days, yeah. And then it just, it just got, I just got tired every day. It's, it's just so easy to sleep all day during a long passage. Mm -hmm. And you have to kind of force yourself to do something and be a little bit active or else <laughs> you're just, yeah, you're just gonna be exhausted the entire time. It's, it's kind of rewarding to, you know, to think that mm -hmm. we just crossed the Atlantic Ocean. Know. Much boss. Add that no to drama. our bucket list. <laughs> like, and, and no drama. No drama. No drama. No broken anything. I have like a little scrape on my hand. And we fried the switch 
for yeah, a quarter burst, but I fix that relatively mm -hmm. easily. My closet lash broke, but that's like a tiny little. Oh, this isn't ever actually. I just like hot melt and glued it on there, so no wonder it broke. Yeah, and nothing, nothing major broke during this process, which is great. Knock it, on wood, we're not there yet. But yeah, but it was honestly, it was kind of, we kind of planned it that way that nothing major would break because we fixed all the big things that would break. Mm -hmm. um, and we still have some work to do on the boat, obviously, like it. fixing the squeaks and maybe hot water and water maker and. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe upgrade our motor, but you know, for the most part, everything is good. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like another? <laughs> like, no. oh, kind of I'm kind of full too. Surprisingly, filling little things. I've been snacking all day, so. <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm gonna go see how close we are to that fishing boat. <laughs> this big fairy passed us called Irish fairies, and the first thing I thought was a bunch of Irish little fairies flying around, <laughs> and it made us both laugh pretty hard. So what was your most memorable moment of this passage? I don't know, it's just such a non-dramatic passage. Like, it was just waves and blah, and waves and blah, and, and cold and rain and, and fog and wet gray and, and waves. waves and blah. <laughs> like, we wake up, jive, roll up some head sail, go back to sleep for three days. I can tell you for me, and I'm pretty sure as soon as I say it, you'll say like, yeah, you too. Yeah, what? When you showed me the bioluminescence began mm, to That was pretty cool. So one of those nights, it was pitch black. There was, no, I don't think it was any moon either. No, it was like, cloudy. There wasn't, was there was cloudy. no stars, no moon, and, nothing. And so we turned off the nav lights for a few minutes mm -hmm. and we went outside in the cockpit. We shut off every light on the entire boat. Yeah, and you could see a trail of blue bioluminescence yeah. behind the boat. That was it was cool. so magical. And it wasn't, wish... just, it wasn't just like a couple of sparklies. No. It was like, like it was the like whole river. wake of our boat no. was like bright blue. It, it, was, was, it was really it was, cool. If you picture the scene in Moana where the grandma as a mentor yeah. kind of like Flies into the yeah. It's it it's legitimately kind of, it's, looked like it's that. It's the Moana scene for sure. I wasn't expecting to see bioluminescence all the way up here. I thought the ocean was too cold, but little do I know about anything bioluminescent. So, um. but it's blue here, not green. Mm -hmm. Oh, the awesome thing too is that in our head, sometimes when you flush, there's bioluminescence that come into the head because of salt water. Sparkle pee. <laughs> That's yeah, the funny. bioluminescence were pretty cool. We saw quite a few dolphins. They were just really hard to capture on film because the boat was just rolling so much and it was like wet and rainy and gross outside. The problem with going downwind is all the spray comes right into the cockpit, so taking the camera outside is kind of... We totally are going to eat all those, aren't we? Um, you can have them. You can do it. Well, guys, that's it for this one. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers! Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> We're like going stir crazy. Oh, okay. We need land. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>